chapter 2 and verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Giving all glorification, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, Baha Sum, Yahweh Sai, Baha Sum Rakakwadas. Double honors, as always, is due unto the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the bishops and elders who rule the church well, and that's what they do. And I want to say salutations to you, Akim, out there pushing this word throughout the four corners of the planet Earth in the chief place of concourse preaching and teaching the correct way as well as salutations to you believers out there. All right. Those of you among Yasharala who have believed our report, that's a rhetorical question. Isaiah uh, asked in uh, Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, who hath believed our report, the elect, all right, you men, women, and children who believe this testimony, you're going to be delivered too. All right. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. All right. I was thinking about the scripture last couple of days, you know, because we got work to do, man. And brothers are out there working, you know, working the work. The work that we was called to do, you know, is is spiritual in nature. You know, but we out there working, man. We go out into the highways. You know, we, we, we prophesy. We got to battle elements. You know, we got to battle demons. We got to battle, you know. You fucking degenerates, all right, and all that, and that's what we do, man. And we ain't complaining about it because hey, we put our hands to the plow, you know. And the Lord said, if you put your hands to the plow and you turn back, you ain't fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. But so let me get that one. Let me get that scripture. Bear with me. Um, put. Put your hands to the plow. Yeah, here we go right here. See, <clears throat> let me read it. Luke chapter 9, verse 62. And Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh Bahasim Yahweh So we put our hands to this plow. We out there, you know, laboring, working, doing the work of the Lord. You know, the world thinks we're fools. The world looks at us like uh, uh, we're the off scouring of the planet Earth, you know, pieces of shit. But we out there prophesying. We bring, we, we bringing out the prophecies. Look, we we out there telling you, all right, you so, uh, look, you niggas, man. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say it. All right. Um. Two thirds of you are you, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians who are the Lord's chosen people. All right, two thirds of you are just straight up niggas, man. Straight up. Ain't no other way to goddamn say it. Here it is. You got the prophets. Oh, and, 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 and lest I forget the speckled birds, right? You as like foreigners. Okay, those of you among Israel who don't look like Israelites. Okay, but your spirit bears witness. That you go back to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on your father's side. Yeah, you too. Two-thirds of you acting like complete fucking demons, man. You got the... Here it is. The prophets are telling you what's getting ready to happen. The, the, the prophets are telling you what's getting ready to happen. And all you can fucking do is, is, is just, just, just be in bullshit mode. <laughs> You don't think the Lord is going to visit you for that? <laughs> you have no fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. The Lord said, hold on, let me go back to the scripture. Let me go back to the scripture. Let me go back to the scripture. And this is very impromptu, so I like you. Let's read this again. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. And who are these Philippians the Apostle Paul is writing to? These are Israelites dwelling in Philippi. Okay? They was being called Philippians. Wherefore, my beloved, 
as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Do you niggas tremble when you hear this word? Nah, you don't. And you want to know why? Because all you fucking, look, I'm not, hey, this is for the two-thirds. Nah, you don't tremble at this word. You fucking scoff at it. When the Bible says not to do certain things, you know, that certain things are sin. What is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. When the Bible says not to do certain things, like, for example, I'm just going to use something basic, right? The Bible explicitly tells you, Jake's, okay, what you can and what you cannot eat. Uh, Right? Yeah. And when you willy-nilly don't conform to that, that's wickedness. This weekend, okay, because it's right now it's Sunday morning. All right, May the 27th, 2023, the hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. All right, as of May the 27th, 2023, you idiots are getting ready to celebrate Memorial Day. <laughs> You're getting ready to memorialize this military, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you fucking ignore the scriptures, but you're going to memorialize the, 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 the military, right? Right. Okay. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. <clears throat> Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Do you want to know who the Lord is dealing with right now? Let's go to Isaiah. 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 Isaiah. Well, we can read Psalms 51 too, but I wanted to get Isaiah. Let's go to Psalm 51 and verse 17. The sacrifices of Yahweh are a broken spirit. See? You, you, you Israelites, man, and we would say we get on you because you're the Lord's people. So we getting on your ass, man. You don't have a broken spirit. You have a very proud, haughty spirit. You don't give a fuck about the scripture. You don't care about righteousness. You don't have anything to say about the wickedness being done in this land. You assholes voted for Joe Biden and that Coon Mollis Harris. Coon Mollis. Coon Mala Harris. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thinking they were going to make a fucking difference. Oh, well, we don't want Donald Trump. No, but you want a goddamn pedophile instead of Trump. Now, now both of them are wicked as hell. But that illustrates and highlights the fact that you're uh, completely gone, man. Degenerated. The sacrifices of Yahweh are a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart. Right? When the Bible says heart, it's talking about your mind. It's who you are, man. It's your mind, it's your will, it's your emotions. It's, it's who you are. It's not talking about that blood pumping vessel in your chest. A broken and, and a contrite heart, O Yahweh, thou wilt not despise. Right, but you're not broken. This word hadn't broken you. Yeah. <laughs> It hadn't made an impact on your life. You know? You could care fucking less. You could fucking care less. Uh, hold on. Because I wanted to go to Isaiah. But that was that's a good scripture too. Contrite. Right? Contrite. It's in Isaiah. Here he goes right here. 
Isaiah chapter 57 and verse 15. For thus saith the high and, and lofty one. That's talking about Yahweh, man. He's the high and lofty one. He's the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. Right? Quadash. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. <laughs> See, this word humbles you, man. It shows you, literally, what this word does is it shows you what a piece of shit you are. Huh. See, you Israelites, man, you know what? And, you know, honestly, I mean, honestly, can't even get irritated about it because Esau is taught you to be proud. You know, he, he you know, he is the most proud. But you don't got humble spirits, man. With him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Right. Isaiah 66 and verse 2. For all those things hath mine hand made and all those things have been, saith the Lord Yahweh. But to this man will I look. So here's who the Lord's looking to, right? To this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit. Contrite spirit. <laughs> you niggas can't even fucking spell contrite, let alone define it. We're going to define it. Even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. Right. You don't tremble at his word. Lord's got massive judgment coming on this earth. Major judgment. Major, major judgment he's getting ready to send out. And you know what? I'm deviating off the lesson because this was supposed to be about, you know, working out your own salvation. And we got work to do. And we do. All right. But you know what? This is how the Spirit operates. Look, do you tremble at His Word? Do you tremble at His Word? When He says He can destroy you, do you tremble? Hold on, let me get a scripture. Let's, let's see if you tremble at this. Let's, let's get something, okay? Let's get something. Do you tremble at His Word, man? Most I can snuff you out right now. Grind you into dust. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Yahweh by Shai. Yeah, it's a fearful thing. When you fall into his hands, why? Because he can destroy your body and your soul. See, all the devil can do is just kill you. I mean, hell. So what? So what? The only thing Esau, the so-called white man, beginning with his elites, because these low-level Edomites over here in America, they ain't, they're stupid. They don't realize their own people have fucking stolen from them and kept them out of the blessing. They don't realize that. <laughs> but that's what's happened. Amalek, <laughs> you American Edomites, you got shafted. The only thing Esau, all right, Amalek, the international bankers, the only thing they can do to you is kill you physically. That's it. That's the only thing they can do to you is kill you. So what? They can kill your body. Well, uh, what did Yahusha say? He, well, 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 let's get it. 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 Matthew chapter 10 and verse 28. All right. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. See, only thing he's able to do is kill the body. He can't kill the soul. Okay. But rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. 
<laughs> right? You better be fearing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. But anyways, we got work to do. I deviated. You know, I got off topic. And that's my bad. We got work to do, man. It's about works. Ultimately, at the end of the day, we're saved by grace through faith. But guess what? Faith produces works. You got these niggas coming on the comment board. Like they'll leave these pithy comment. Look up the word pithy. They'll leave these pithy comments. All right. You click on their avatars and you and you see they, they, there's no works on their fucking page. So wait a minute. How we uh, I, I don't see you working, man. You ain't working for the Lord. All you doing is talking shit. How are we supposed to judge you? We we, we, we judge according to your works, man. Hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh judges you according to your works. <laughs> he judges you. He's going to judge you. But that's why the Bible says their works do follow them. Your works are going to follow you, man, into eternity. Oh, I need to. Okay. Well, look. Look here. Brothers are out there working, man. Hey, the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, they putting in major work. The angels are recording it. <laughs> and, and, and guess what? Those works are going to echo throughout eternity. They're they going to echo throughout eternity because in the kingdom of heaven, you know who's going to be famous? Fuck the Kardashians. Fuck Kanye West. Fuck, fuck, fuck all of them. Fuck LeBron James. Fuck all y'all. Okay? You know who's going to be famous in the kingdom of heaven? The elect. While y'all are over here enjoying this goddamn uh, 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 sin fest, and making y'all's millions, we're over here preaching the Bible. In our liberty, in our liberty, we're preaching it, man. <laughs> you think you don't? You don't think that's a sacrifice? And I'm talking to the two thirds right now. You don't think that's a sacrifice, right? We read the Bible, we study it, we meditate on it. And we break it down, and all y'all give a fuck about is the American dream. Money, money, money. Well, guess what? Your money is about to be fucking worthless. Did not the Lord's brother say faith without works is dead? That's exactly what he said. That's exactly what he said. Let me get it. The book of James. Chapter 2 and verse 17. Okay? James chapter 2 and verse 17. And you see it right here. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yeah. A man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew thee my faith by my works. Right? Yeah. You know, Abraham believed the Most High, and, and the Bible says about Abraham that he was a friend of the Most High. But guess what Abraham did? He moved. He acted on what he believed. Ha! <laughs> You trying to tell me you don't need to go out into the highways and byways to preach the word of the Lord? Yeah, you do. The, the Lord, Yahweh, one of my favorite verses, man, Luke chapter 14, verse 23, go into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be full. What house? The house of David. By Shadawada. Abraham believed the Lord and he moved. He left his whole fucking family. 
He left everything he knew. He left his fucking family and he went. Huh. That's faith, man. Noah. What about Noah? Let's talk about Noah. What did Noah do? Noah stood in the midst of them heathen ass, <laughs> all them heathens. Okay, I'll just say it that way. Right? Built an ark. They thought he was out of his fucking mind, and that's the same way you niggas feel today. You think we're out of our minds. They thought he was out of his mind. He built an ark. He said it was going to rain. He did that for a hundred years, man. A hundred, oh, a hundred, a hundred and twenty years. Laboring, working, working, preaching, prophesying. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going to, and it's spiritual now because it it's raining where I am right now. It's going to rain. Do you, do, you, do you not think he was working out his own salvation with fear and trembling? See, we've been called to do a work. It's work. This is a work. This is a work. It's labor. Yeah, it's like, I'm rambling, but let me get, um, what is it, Second Ezra 9? I believe, and bear with me, because this is really impromptu. It's just something I was thinking about uh, yesterday. All right, let's see if this pulls up. Yeah, here we go. Second Ezra is nine. I'm pretty sure it's nine. Yup, it is. Second Ezra chapter nine and verse six. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And the signs are all around us, man. The signs are all around us. Okay? The collapse of the society, the, 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 the collapse of the old way. All right? Esau is going to hit that uh, reset button. He's going to reset shit. He's going to usher in his new world order. Okay? The end of the dollar, the end of fiat currency in general, the ushering in of the mark, the MOTB, which is the CHIP, right? Signs, signs, earthquakes, famines, pestilences, war, rumors of war, signs. Verse 7, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. Hear that? By his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, right? So, you know what? We working out our salvation with fear and trembling. Like I said earlier, you know, it, it, it's ultimately it's by grace. You're saved by grace through faith. That faith was given to you as a gift. You didn't earn it. But you know what? A man of the Lord is going to have works, man. A man, a, a, a man who believe a man who says he believes in Yahweh Bashimah Shai, he's going to have works. He's going to have works. Brothers are out here working. <laughs> Being instant, in season and out of season, man. Straight up, works. Working out our salvation with fear and trembling, man. Fighting the good fight of faith. I'll get that scripture next. Fighting the good fight of faith. Not fighting each other. The hell's the matter with you fucking guys, man? We're fighting the good fight of faith. We don't... <laughs> you, you, Hey, you wayward camps... They're putting hands on your brothers. What the, what the hell is that about? Verse 8, 2 Ezra 9 and verse 8, shall be preserved from the said perils. And that's what we're hoping. We're hoping to be preserved from these perils that are coming. We in perilous times, man. Americans, man, you, you Americans are goofy. Well, no, everything's just fine. No, everything's not just fine. 
Your whole way of life is about to change. We say it day in and day out. Same way Noah did. Same way Noah did. Same way Noah did. He said it day in and day out and nobody believed him. Are you fixing to believe? Promise you. Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right? So this whole thing was set up in the beginning, man. A, a salvation, the election, all that was predetermined from the foundation of the earth, man, from the foundation of the world. You know, we just got to hope we're, we're, we just got to hope that's us, you know, prisoners of hope. Right. We just got to hope that's us. Um, let's see. Let's get first Corinthians. Uh, 15 is the end of the chapter. That's a beautiful chapter, by the way. But um, for a second time, because this has been a lot longer than I intended to be. Um, First Corinthians. I'm just going to get right to the point. First uh, Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Right. So that's why brothers put up videos every day. That's why brothers prophesy. That's why brothers go out and teach. Okay. It says, to, it says to be unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Okay. The, the real work, the work of the Lord. Fuck this other bulls. Look, this other thing that we do, okay, to pay bills, that's <laughs> all that is is a means to an end. We, I mean, you got to go out and go to work, right, to pay for shit. The, the, the true work is, 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 is this. It's the ministry. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Right. So you're out there laboring and you're doing it sincerely. The Lord, that's not going to be in vain. The Lord is going to reward you. You know, we, we, we all looking for that crown, man. And look, let me tell you, I've been in this thing long enough to know. All right. I'm not putting myself up on a pedestal at all because, you know, the apostles have been doing this for 35 plus years. You know, I've been in this thing, you know, not even not even a decade, like nine years. OK, but I've learned a few things. All right. I've learned a few things. And, and bottom line, you know, the, 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 the men that are out there teaching and doing this thing the right way, that that labor is going to be rewarded. man. you know what your reward is going to be? A crown that doesn't fade. Symbolic. OK, symbolic. Meaning you're going to you're going to be in an ever in, a, in an everlasting body ruling and reigning. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Right. It's work, man. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yeah, it's not going to be in vain. The Lord promised to reward his servants, the prophets. Okay. Let's get one more. Um, John chapter 9. Like you, bear with me. John. My phone does quirky shit. All right, John chapter 9. In verse 4. Now, in this chapter, Yahweh restores sight to the blind man. Okay? 
which he really did that. Like he really did miracles. Like <laughs> you got that, 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 that coon, uh, Jephthah. All right. From one body in the house, I was saying there's no literal miracles. The Lord didn't do literal miracles. Yes, he did. He restored, he, he, <laughs> he restored, uh, sight to the blind. He made the lame to walk. He, 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 uh, uh, uh casted out demons and devils. Okay. He raised Lazarus from the dead. Well, fuck you, me, and do physical miracles. Huh. Damn. I don't know if they're still teaching that. I'm sure they are. John chapter 9 and verse 4, I must work the works of him that sent me. This is how I was speaking. He said, he said he must work the works of him that sent him. Work. Working out your salvation with fear and trembling. Right? Faith without works is dead. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. Right? Right now in the daytime. <laughs> even though it's like, you know, 2.30 in the morning where I am, even region number four, right? That's a metaphor, okay? Meaning we still have liberty to preach this word. It's daytime, okay? While it is day, the night cometh. Now, what what is the night? That's when Esau hits that internet kill switch and cuts this off. That's the night. The night cometh when no man can work. See? And that's what's coming. You know, that you know, one of the next prophecies that has to be fulfilled is the famine of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're getting ready to do it. They're going to they're gonna officially outlaw it. You know? They're going to, you know, call us, you know, domestic terrorists. You know, say we're the threat. We're the problem. You know, ultimately, and, and you know... Uh, other people are going to be caught up in that shit too, but mainly Esau, you know, he he want he wants to get at the prophets, and that's okay, man. All right, but that's a side that's a side note. And we got work to do, man. You know, fighting the good fight of faith. Okay, working, laboring. You know, working out our own salvation with fear and trembling, man. That's what the Lord is looking for. He, he he wants to see that you that you that you are afraid of him. Yeah, yeah, you need to be, and you need to be trembling. All right, Lord, willing you was edified through the Spirit. I don't want to say so long. All right, let me say this. Okay. By grace are you saved 